I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to read from Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Come now, let us reason together, said the Lord. Huh? God was calling the children of Israel that they should come. Let him reason with them. That means God has no fools as his children. God does not have momentous children. He does not have momentous followers who cannot reason. When he says, come now, let us reason together. That means he has respect for our intellect. Because we have the mind of Christ. He created us in his image and likeness. Tragically, only 1% to 2% of humanity generate original thoughts. 2 to 3% Analyze the thoughts generated by these original thinkers. And so only 5% of humanity think. The remaining 95% don't think. They dare not think. Some philosophers believe that if they death think for themselves, they will die. In the same vein, only 5% of humanity eventually discovered the reasons why they were born. They discovered, only 5% discovered the purposes why they were created. The remaining 95% build the purposes of others. They contribute towards building the purposes of others. In Exodus chapter 32, verse 14, the Bible says, and God repented of the actions he wanted to take against the children of Israel. We also see it in 2 Samuel chapter 24, verse 16, and in Psalm 106, verse 45, God changed his mind. The one of Exodus chapter 32, verse 14, Moses presented an argument that God respected. The children of Israel had gone to create a calf that they were worshipping and they were misbehaving. Many of these denominations you belong to, either your general overseer is the calf, or your structures and your dogma represent the calf where you bring your gold to, your worth, your wealth to, and you don't reason. There is a problem in Africa and underdeveloped cultural nations. That is a respect for elders and leaders that does not permit you to reason independently or to question activities. That is why in very traditional societies like us, we don't make significant scientific discoveries. Excuse me, because we don't question the status quo. And that's why we are backward. Some Time back, the South Korean airline was, was experiencing a lot of disasters and they invited the Americans to come and study why, to come and interrogate why there were so many accidents. They found out that because of the South Korean culture, where you don't question an elder, or somebody who is older than you or superior to you in terms of authority, that when the senior pilot and the junior pilot are flying, 
even if the senior pilot is making a mistake, the junior pilot dare not correct him or question his actions. In Christianity in Africa, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm has been extrapolated to the point of stupidity. Somebody rightly said that when a truth is stretched too far, it becomes a fallacy. God is love. If you stretch it too far, then you will say, God cannot punish. God cannot create hell and throw people into it. But the earth opened in the wilderness and fire consumed the rebels against Moses. It's the same God. So, if God can say, come, let us reason together. If God can listen to the superior arguments in quotes of Moses and change his mind from destroying the children of Israel and creating another race, then God can be discussed with. So your general overseers, your papas and your mamas and your apostles and your bishops should be subject to questioning and interrogation if they don't behave well. I, was, I sent a video around and somebody sent to me. They brought mortars and pestles to a church. One small unemployed boy is telling them, break the head of the devil with a pound. He beam, he beam, he beam, he beam, he beam. The devil is a spirit. And it has the life of God. And the life of God cannot be destroyed. That's why the devil has not been destroyed. So when somebody comes, he says he's demon destroyer. And you are following him. You are a mumu. Nobody destroys demons. We only cast them away. We, when we die, the spirit of God in us is not destroyable. It translates to another realm. And that's why it can spend eternity either in the kingdom of God or in hell. It's only this skin, this flesh from the soil that goes back to the soil. Your spirit is indestructible. So, the problem with Christians in Africa, the problem with the sociology of Africa and underdeveloped South America, some Asian cultures, is this inability to interrogate actions of people who are older than us, who are superior to us, who we admire, or who have spiritual authority. So, God did not call idiots. He did not give spiritual birth to idiots. He gives spiritual birth to Christ-like human beings. Christ himself interrogated the Father. Father, why had thou forsaken me? Father, if it is possible for this cup to pass over me, let it be. But if not, let your will be done. So you converse with God, you discuss with God, you ask him questions. If your general overseer is beyond mistake, we have gone back to the time where the Pope was infallible. Anything the Pope said was right. That was, and in fact, people were not allowed to read the Bible. That was where Martin Luther came up with his points that he nailed against the door. That's where Pente um, um, what are they called now? Uh, Protestants. Protestants. That's where the word protest. That's where our Protestants emerged. And then when Protestants emerged, some people were praying, praying, and then the Spirit of God came upon them. Some of them were expelled from 
the so-called Orthodox churches. And they started seeing the move of God. Those people in that generation, I got born again and met them. A lot of those who had that encounter, those in Assemblies of God Church that were praying in Agri Road in Port Harcourt, different kinds of people. I grew up and met them. Now, we started questioning issues in the Orthodox churches, like infant baptism, like the, the titles, the attires of the Orthodox churches, issues like penance, issues like purgatory, and all that. But today, those same things we questioned that made us to become Pentecostals. We have now adopted a lot of them that I even have a young boy who calls himself prelate. Bishops are everywhere. Archbishops are everywhere. Uh, there is nothing, no titles they have not taken. When you question them, they are foolish, momotious followers will attack you. They will attack you. They will say, touch not my anointed. Who is Dr. Pokey? To question this. Who is Dr. Pokey? I knew most of your general overseers when they were coming around the full gospel businessmen's fellowship to preach. I knew when they were wearing the same kind of shoe with me. I knew them. I saw them. I was practicing medicine already. Is it by their followers on, um, on, in, in their churches? Go and check my YouTube channel. I've had 7 point something million views. That means 7 point something million people have watched me. As I travel around this country, from policemen to soldiers to children, to, they know me. Every day, every Wednesday, and Tuesday in Delta State, I speak to a potential audience of 13 million people. So your, your general overseer is not exceptional. I don't, I don't, I'm not the kind of person that will panic over, over such people. But the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent will take it by force. We cannot allow this charlatanism and stupidity to destroy what others have labored to build over the years because people want to create fame, build empires, gather people around them, feel big. No, no, no. How many of them are more educated than myself? How many of them? Even if you say professor, people call that. If I wanted to be a professor, I would have been a professor a long time ago. Is it PhD that they have in any any area? I read medicine. Read medicine five years after two years of higher school. I would have had a PhD in any any course I wanted to do. So what is the big deal about touch not my anointed? Do my prophet no harm? The God's general. General who? God's generals. You think if we want to do the way they are doing, the, the tribalism in their denominations. Do you know the, the tribalism in the denominations? If you know the core tribalism in several of these churches, you will, you will detest the practices that they, they... I am an insider. And as I sit here, for every post I make, I get feedback and information from those who are present, who know the details. And if I open my mouth, if any person plays rough play near me, if I open my mouth, you will, they, 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 this country will scatter. So just day your day, I day my day, and the kingdom of God, we will defend it and we will say the truth. Oh, 
they won't invite me to their churches. Me. <laughs> me. Even if I don't preach, I'm not boasting. Even if I don't preach till I die, I won't be hungry. Never. How much will your church give to me? How much? How much? How much will your church give to me? That I will see the, I will see the truth and I won't say it. No. I don't hate these people. According to Charles I was here, I don't castigate people for their weaknesses, but I castigate them for their wickedness. A lot of what we are seeing is sheer wickedness and hypocrisy and duplicity. Whether you like me or you don't like me, I don't really care. I know you are digging my background. You are digging and digging. You go tired. We knew before now we will be doing these things. You go tired. If you like, continue with your mumority. When the chips are down, you will discover that your general overseer does not care about you. He doesn't care. You are disposable. If Napoli can loan Osimen to Galatasaray, you, you are like tissue paper. They will throw you away. Throw you away if they've not finished taking care of their children and their brothers and their tribesmen. They will throw you away. Face your life. Serve God. Follow Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Read your Bible on your own. Get as many Bibles as possible with as many explanations. This area of Google. Google any subject matter. Study it. Don't become a lazy bum in an internet. Intellectually lazy bum. You just swallow every rubbish, hook, line, and sinker. Amen. Hallelujah. Mumu. Think. <laughs> Dr. Pokey. Abi, whether you kill me, whether you destroy me, whether you castigate me, whether you bring scandal, I don't talk, I don't talk. Nothing, nothing happen. And only truth, I talk. <laughs> As you know, when you castigate fella, na truth you talk, and I don't see what they happen. Uh, Abi seminar. Coming up on the 13th and on the 14th of this month, September, send a message to plus 234-7052-136763. I will send you the flyer. Please also remember, Pastor, it is well. He needs to work again. You send me a message, I will show you how to donate. For us to get the 10 million. God bless you.